monotonous monotone of their eyes were watching God. Chapters 1 and 2. Ships at a distance have every man's wish on board. For some they come in with the tide, for others they sail forever on the horizon, never out of sight, never landing until the watcher turns his eyes away in resignation, his dreams mocked to death by time. That is the life of men. Now women forget all those things they don't want to remember, and remember everything they don't want to forget. The dream is the truth. They, Then they act and do things accordingly. So the beginning of this was a woman, and she had come back from burying the dead. Not the dead of sick and ailing the friends with friends at the pillow and the feet. She had come back from the sodden and the bl bloated the sudden death their eyes flung wide open in judgment the people all saw her come because it was sundown the sun was gone but he had left his footprints in the sky it was the time for sitting on porches beside the road it was the time to hear things and talk these sitters had been tongueless earless eyeless conveniences all day long Mules and other brutes had occupied their skins, but now the sun and the bossmen were gone, so the skins felt powerful and human. They became lords of sounds and lesser things. They passed nations through their mouths. They sat in judgment. Seeing the woman as she was made them remember the envy that had stopped up from the other times. So they chewed up the back part of their minds and swallowed with relish. They made burning statements with questions and killing tools out of laughs. It was mass cruelty, a mood come alive, words walking without masters walking all together like harmony in a song. What's she doing coming back here in dem overalls? Can't she find no dress to put on? Where's that blue satin dress she left here in? Where, where all that money? Her husband took and died, left her. What had old forty-year-old man doing? With her hair swinging down her back like some young gal. Where she left that young lad of a boy she went off here with. Though she was young to marry, where he left her. What he done with all her money. Betcha he off with some gal so young she ain't even got no hairs. Why she don't say in her class. When she got to where they were, turned her face on the. When she got to where they were, she turned her face on the bander log and spoke. They scrambled a noisy good evening and left their mouths setting, setting open and their ears full of hope. Her speech was pleasant enough, but she kept walking straight on to her, ga her gate. The porch couldn't talk for looking the men noticed her firm buttocks like she had grapefruits in her hip pockets the great rope of black hair swinging to her waist and unraveling in the wind like a plume then her pugnacious breasts trying to bore holes in her shirt they the men were sa were saving with the mind that they lost with the eye the woman took the faded shirt and muddy overalls and laid them away for rem remembrance. It wa was a weapon against her strength, and it, uh, if it turned out of no significance, she still it would was a hope that she might fall to their level some day. But nobody moved, nobody spoke, nobody even thought to swallow spit until after her, her gate slammed behind her. Pearl Stone opened her mouth and laughed real hard because she didn't know what else to do. She fell all over M Mrs. Sumpkins while she laughed. Mrs. Sump Mrs. Sumpkins snorted violently and sucked her teeth. Hmm. Y'all let her worry, huh? Were ya? You ain't like me. I uh, ain't got her no study bout. If she ain't got manners enough to stop and let folks know she been making out, let her goin'. She ain't even worth talking after. Lulu Moss drawled through her nose. She sits high, but she looks low. That's what, what 
I say about these old women running after young boys. Phoebe Watson hitched her rocking chair forward after the after she spoke. Well, nobody don't know if it's anything to tell or not. Me, um, her Mr. Friend, and I don't know. Maybe us don't know into things like you do, but we all know how she went away from here. Us show see her come back. Taint no use in you trying. Oh, clo cloak no old woman lack. Janie Starks. Phoebe friend no friend. Ah, dat she ain't so old as some of y'all talking. She was past 40 to my knowledge, Phoebe. No more more than 40 at the outside. What the hell am I reading? I'm, I'm pretty... This is like... This, why was this assigned to me? I'm not gonna... That was the end of the monotonous monotone. Not even finishing chapter 1. Because I don't understand why this is assigned to me. I was going to try to help you other people out by reading to this. But honestly, I understand why there's no other audiobooks of other people reading on the on YouTube. Because this is a terrible book to read. I'm, I'm getting freaking AIDS listening to this. Seriously. Okay. Well, good luck everyone on trying to finish this book and understand it to some extent.